With the orientation builder you can build designs for a portray mode or also for a landscape mode. And we will look at how you can build a different design for each orientation so that you can use your space for each orientation optimally. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with this design here. So we have an image and some text below. And therefore I have here within the scaffold body property our portrait mode currently inside and we also want to build the other part our landscape mode and to build a different design for our landscape mode we simply wrap here this build portrait method inside of an orientation builder and within this builder you get then the orientation object and this orientation object has two values so if it is inside of the portrait mode or if it is inside of the landscape mode and therefore we simply check here if the orientation is the orientation portrait and if this is the case, then we want to build here this portrait mode, which you currently see on the screen. And otherwise we want to build here a different design. And therefore I create here a new method, build landscape. Therefore let's build the landscape method. And therefore I will simply duplicate the portrait method. And I will simply call it here landscape. And now our design looks first of all like this. So the image is still inside of a list view and we want to change it. And therefore I switch here from this vertical design to a horizontal design and therefore I take here a row instead. And now if I hot reload you see we have here a small arrow so we display here this image, this is fine. However the text on the right side we also need to make it expanded. Therefore I wrap it here inside of this expanded widget. And now if I hot reload it looks already better our design. However, we also want to have some space between our image and our text and therefore I go here inside between our image and our text and here I set then a width of 16 pixels between. And secondly, we also need to make this long text here scrollable and therefore I wrap here this text inside of a single shot scroll view and this makes our text then scrollable. And now you see it is working our new design and we basically can scroll here through. And all in all, we used here the space in the landscape mode more efficiently. So we display here this image on the left side and then we use here the main part for our text. And for the portrait mode, we have then the image and the text under each other. Next, I want to show you how you can implement a button and then you can also toggle between your landscape mode and your portrait mode. And therefore you simply click on this button and then it will toggle between these two modes. Therefore I go to the scaffold and here inside I create a floating action button with this icon rotate left. And if we click on this button then we want to rotate our screen. And therefore we need to get the current orientation which we get by media query of context and here we can access the orientation of our device. And we check here if the orientation is inside of the portrait mode. And now we can basically define the different cases to switch to the landscape mode or also to the portrait mode. So if we are in the portrait mode, we want to switch to the landscape mode. Otherwise we switch to the portrait mode. So now let's first of all build here the set portrait mode. And here you basically call this system Chrome and here you call this method set preferred orientations. And inside of it, you need to supply a list of orientations. And then you can put here the device orientation to portrait up and portrait down. So portrait up is here our initial state of our phone. Portrait down is if our top of the phone is on the bottom. And secondly, we can also implement this method set landscape. And this works basically the same. So we call again our system Chrome. And here we set again our orientations inside of this list. However, this time we choose here the landscape left and landscape right. And the landscape left mode is if our top of the phone is on the left side. And the landscape right is if our top of the phone is on the right side. And that's all what we need for the implementation. So if we are currently inside of the portrait mode, then if we click on this button, he will switch to the landscape mode. So let's click here on this button. And after this, he will switch to the landscape mode. And if we click again on this button, and then he will switch again to the portrait mode. And what this method is basically doing, it is locking it to the portrait mode. So you cannot switch the orientation back to the landscape mode. And also if you call here this method, then it will lock the orientation to landscape and you can never switch back to the orientation of portrait. However, sometimes you want to switch back to the original orientation and therefore you can call here simply this method set portrait and landscape, which we want to create. 
And here we basically call again our orientation on the system Chrome. And here inside you set then this device orientation values. And this has then all the values of our device orientation here again inside. And this means that the landscape mode and the portrait mode is again enabled and we can switch again between the portrait and the landscape mode. Therefore, I go here inside of the app bar and here we want to create a new button which is calling this method. And here I basically call this icon button which has then this icon clear. And if we press on this button then we call exactly this method set portrait and landscape which we have defined before. And if you later click on this button it will allow again the portrait mode and also the landscape mode. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!